a pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Boston Red Sox as they play against the Chicago White Sox. Next on 2K Sports. Will they be able to limit the bat of Carlos Quinton? Well, we're going to find out. We're set to go. I'm Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crook with me, Major League Baseball, 2K Sports. Everyone settling in now, U.S. Cellular Field, the site. The starting pitching, we'll see Jared Washburn. And Steve, as he gets into this Boston lineup, what are we going to see? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead of the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. Lineup time, courtesy of Pepsi. Here's the look it up. The White Sox won last night. It's coming on the heels of a victory in game one as well. So a little momentum going here. They've got the two of the four against Boston. Well, as a former player, it's just so much fun to watch a team that's on a roll like this, and no one's going to beat them anytime soon. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Somebody's going to get a W against this team, but it's going to take one heck of an effort to do it. Well, you're right, Gary. It's going to take an unbelievable effort just to compete with this team, much less beat them. Swung on line to right center field. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the now offense when it gets going that way. Now a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Scouting these fielders. Steve. Joe Creedy has great reactions in the hot corner, Gary. He gets great. Ellen Ellsbury going to steal. And he is safe. Just beating that throw. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Damon. And he gets over to take care of it. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Euclid's a dangerous 0-2 hitter, though. Pitch on the way. Oh, oh tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, one and two. The one-two pitch. Change up, swung on and missed. That's the out, number two. Well, he tried to get a piece of that one, and at least followed off. And that ball up and in, he couldn't quite catch up to it. Strike three. Here's Victor Martinez now with the RBI hope. Two outs and a runner on second. Swung on, liner to right. And that'll put Martinez on at first now. now batting. Your team leaders for batting average with runners in scoring position. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox in second. The Blue Jays third. Yankees fourth. And for the Orioles, they are swinging a rocket towards short. And he throws on the first. That'll retire the side. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And Josh Beckett is the pitcher. He'll get the start for Boston. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, Josh Beckett has turned into an absolute workhorse and one of the best pitchers in postseason history. He loves the big game. He has a great fastball with great move. Headed for the middle. Scooter rope. And so Damon retired. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? You'd love to see how Joe Creed's career would have played out if he didn't have so many back injuries. Here's a guy that, that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. He's one of the better third basemen that you'll ever see in baseball in his career. But the fact that he's had all these injuries, but let's see if he can stay healthy and put together a good one. And it starts here today with this game. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately just couldn't come up with a triple. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, he's up in the mid-90s now, so pretty good velocity, but not much break on it. And Paul Canerco to bat. One of the best batting averages in the league. 
line towards second. That falls in. First hit of the ball game for this club. And it's up against the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Runner on second, RBI opportunity for Carlos Clinton. He's the league leader in hits. Beckett kicks and throws. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Coming here off a game last night where he hit two home runs. And they made some mistakes, and he took advantage of it. Locked in right now at the plate. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quinton goes down swinging. Josh Beckett, some nice work on the mound. He's got two strikeouts already. And the Red Sox is coming up. Top of the second inning. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for a game. Adrian Beltran. Well hit towards the middle. Back up. So Beltre is set down. Right fielder, number 47. And it's Jeremy Hermida. Base is empty, one out. Fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. That one's drilled to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. So Hermida is retired. And it's Jason Veritek now. Two outs, bases empty. Hit in the air to left center. It's down a base hit. And that's going to bring Marco Scudero to the plate. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit, and who knows what can happen after that. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Still scoreless in Chicago. And Beckham's in the box. He'll start the home half of the second. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. Beckett kicks and throws. Swing and a hot shot. And it gets down. The streak is on. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored. Top five. That's it foul by Rios. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Now Josh Beckett, he'll have something to work with here, 0-2. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Oh! up in the dirt on a swinging strike three. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. One out man on first. Beckett kicks and throws. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. Here it comes. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. And it's going to be Cameron. As he hauls it in. Yeah, a little ways to go here in the season. The American League wild card. How's it look? Well, let's take a look. Brought to you by State Park. First place, the Angels. In second place, the Yankees. In the three hole, it's the Orioles. In fourth place, it's the Royals. It's the Blue Jays in fifth. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. What a great race we have with the American League wild card right now. The wild card has been so good for baseball because it keeps so many teams in the hunt until the end of the season. A horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. And Joe Creedy comes up empty, a swing, no contact. It's a great piece of work. He's got it going right now, Josh Beckett. He emerges from the first two innings on scale. 
And the dugout shot of Terry Franco. Plenty on his mind, I think. Plays with the pitching so far, hoping to get some life out of his lineup. And Przezinski calls for the pitch. Lined up the middle. Back up, able to pull that one. Take a look at the teams leading the way with fewest walks allowed, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Royals in second. Third, the Mariners. The Twins, fourth. And for the Tigers, fifth. It really speaks to the philosophy of the organization when you have the fewest walks given up. They understand they need to throw strikes and let the opposition put the ball in play and trust the defense. 0 1, first pitch you saw fouled off. A line drive towards short. And it's caught by Ramirez. So for a chance, Kevin Euclid's two down. Let's see if he shows a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focused. Here's the first delivery to Euclid. Way out there with the curveball, 1 0. Lifetime, 233 hitter off the White Sox. Here's Washburn, 1 0 pitch. And that's going to do it. Canerco's there. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Fulton. And it's Jim Tomey in the box now. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. He swings and nails a liner. Here are the top batting averages for this month. Our State Farm leaderboard. We look at these hitters. They're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Now Josh Beckett, he'll have something to work with here on two. Here's the delivery. Strike three. Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. That's a hard biting curveball right there with great break. Off the top to put in play. Swung right through it. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. One hit, six at bats against Josh Beckham. A swing and a miss. Ramirez. Strike one. Liner towards the hole. So that puts Paul Canerco at the plate. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but he gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Always good coming off a three hit game the night before and gives you some confidence coming into today's game. Rung him up, strike three. Count that one as K. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are, so now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now, but leading the league in home runs. That ball swung on, hit high in the air, way back, warning track. Gone. That's good for three. And bingo, just like that, it is three to nothing. Wow, a three-run shot. The first runs we've gotten on the board. The three-run blast. That will do something to the graph. Let's take a look at our Pepsi WPA chart. Uh, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. And what they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right on the plate. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Here's the pitch. Brings a little early that time, 0 1. 
This is Steve, I guess, with that big fly, the inning these guys were hoping for. Well, that's exactly right, Gary. I mean, when you want to have the big inning. When you get that opportunity, put a crooked number up on the board. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Lined right at the second baseman. And there's Pedroia for out number three. Able to knock in a few here in the third. Working with the lead now. The White Sox lead three to nothing. Lead off hitter, Victor Martinez. He had a single in his last time up. Victor Martinez. And Martinez ready to start the at bat for his pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Oh, Gary, into the fourth inning right here now. They, they've got three hits in this one, so they've had a few base runners, but they haven't been able to lump them together to be able to generate any runs so far. There's a bullet towards third, and Creedy gloves out. We're seeing some late September baseball now, looking at the State Farm standing board. This is how the Central Division stands. It's the White Sox in first, second place the Royals, third place goes to the Indians, Twins are fourth, and rounding out the list the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Washburn set and delivers. Cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. Drill towards the hole. And Conerco makes the catch. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. Adrian. That's six in a row that he set down. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. But when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Line drive. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. Nothing doing here in this half inning. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzy Dean. He's watched his glove stake out a nice advantage, probably thinking about making sure his pitching plans keep up with the runs. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. That's a strike, and it's 0 2. Time for Rios now to protect. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. Well, a great job getting an 0-2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste the pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. It's going to be Przinski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him, 0-1. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. And it holds at 0 and 2. At the belt, Beckett kicks, throws deep to left field. This one to Ellsbury. As he drops back and puts it away. Joe Crady in the box. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch to Creedy. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. On well, his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. And it gets through. Keep the streak going. Now, so, Jim, tell me coming up. Well, well, you know the pitcher was hoping to get that 3-up, three 3-down three inning. A little bit of a breather inning, but that single will extend this one a bit here. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. On the way. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. 
Josh Beckett coming off the mound. We're through four in Chicago. It'll be the bottom third of the order. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Fresh count on Hermida. Here it comes. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup, and when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. He deals. Swing and a foul straight back. And Jeremy Hermida watching that one for strike three. It's the best pitch in baseball. The fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. Be successful. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Veritek. Fastball swung out and missed. Stone one. And Jason Veritek looks at that one for a ball. He's even the count. A two seam fastball, such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. And that's going to bring Marco Scudero to the plate. Shortstop. Grounded out his last time through. One down, runner at first. First one to Scudero. Here's the pitch. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. The career batting average for him, 241 off Jared Washburn. Back behind second, two away. Stepping up to the plate for the bump and red zone. Left fielder. And Jacoby Ellsbury. Oh, be. And he steals off and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Two outs and a man on first. Now Brzezinski positions himself. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he's in trouble. He's tagged out between first and second. So Jared Washburn holding those runs down. We're taking a look at Terry Francona. His club trailing by three. Some important thoughts going through his mind about getting this game back. And it's Johnny Damon. What a year for him. Top five in homers. And it falls in. Hitting streak continues. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. No one out and a runner on first. Beckett kicks and throws. He swings on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. The pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. Got him. Ninth strikeout of the game. But Gary, he's not messing around, going right at him on the 0 2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. Canerco at the plate. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. Gary, they know Damon can steal here. They better keep an eye on him. Hot shot towards the hole. What a time now to capitalize if they can. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. And he pays for it. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. He homered earlier in the ball game. A carry their teams ahead right now, and obviously his offensive production has been a major up the middle. Oh my! How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. And they get two. Great double play. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. White Sox three. Boston nothing. Second baseman, number 15, Justin Pedroia. Fresh count on Pedroia. Here it comes. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Boy, good pitching, good defense. They're getting it done today, and obviously oh. limiting this offense, keeping them off the board. Only three guys left on base the entire game. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. And the 1-2 delivery from Washburn. Flied to right. 
And Pedroia's got himself a single. Now so Kevin Euclid will come up. Here's a chance to First check out Dustin Pedroia and how he ranks compared to the rest of the league. 12th in slugging percentage, 14th in RBIs, and he also has the ability to hit for a high average, ranked in the top 15 hitters in the league in batting average. That's outstanding. Hard ground to short, and it's picked up. Oh, gets one at second. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they wanted to. Runner on, Victor oh. Martinez. Well, he gets them walked a lot. The American League has him in the top five. Hit on the ground, over to shortstop. Up with it. Oh, there's one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they wanted to. Cameron gets set. Here's the first pitch. Near first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And he has just been back. And Beckham's in the box. He'll lead it off on half. We're in the center. And the first pitch. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And out number one as he steps on the base. One up, and Alex Rios at the plate. Top five AL and run scored. At the belt, Beckett kicks, throws. Back there in deep left center. Bounces up against the wall. Look at the Eastern Division race now as the season winds down, courtesy of State Farm. Red Sox in first place. In second place, the Yankees. Orioles third place. Fourth place, the Blue Jays. And it's the Rays in the last slot. Uh, once again, the Boston Red Sox on top of their game, playing solid, consistent baseball day in and day out. And that's why they're sitting atop of the American League East once again. Hit hard on the ground to short. And that'll put Brzezinski on first. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. Lifetime, he's hit two for seven off Josh Beckett. Hit sharply towards the hole. And Rios comes in. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Number 27. This is great patience at the plate. He lets the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way, as he just did. And it's going to be Ramon Ramirez on the mound. He'll be the reliever for the Red Sox. That's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He delivers. You're out. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Well, a good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. First pitch on the way to Damon. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. He's got a 292 average when going up against the Red Sox. A smash between short and third, and he will be tagged out on a play he probably is going to define as bonehead. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. It's Adrian Beltre in the box now. Third base, number 29. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Well, what an outstanding effort. Uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game. Hot shot towards the hole. That's one way. And you know he's looking ahead and feeling pretty good about it. And with good reason. He hasn't given up a run yet, and he's got to be gaining confidence. The fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something so up the middle. And Hermita has got himself a base hit. That's going to bring up Jason Verita. Teams who've been piling up the home runs brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox, number one. Blue Jays in second. In third, the Rangers. Fourth, the Red Sox. 
And at number five, it's the Angels. Uh, two of the better home run hitting teams in baseball, so it's going to be critical to keep the ball down in the zone. The team that wins may be the one that keeps it in the ballpark. Now up to the plate for the Boston Red Sox. Shortstop, number 20. And we're going to see Scudero here. Scudero. Blew out last time. Washburn set and delivered. Ball. Curveball just misses 1-0. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike Ball zone. Two. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Hit up the middle. And now that's seven. Count him seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it, Gary. I think he wants to finish the rest of this game. He's got the legs. The White Sox still ahead. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. And the first pitch. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. A lifetime number? Well, 259 off the Red Sox. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. Oh, Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's 1-2. and two. One, 2 pitch coming. And Alexei Ramirez watches that one go by. Count is now even. Ball is blasted. High, deep, center field. Way back there. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. Add one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. Number 14. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Shot back to first. Now the hottest table setters. State Farm, our leaderboard on base percentage over the last 10 games. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major league. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. He's driven home three in this one. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Runner on first. First pitch to Quinton. Line shot into center field. And that's going to be another hit for them. Danarco's heading for third. And the throw. No, they do not get him. He's safe at third. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0-1. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Got him. One away. Now up to the plate. Now sometimes in the back you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively. Strikes him out on three pitches. And he starts Rios out. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. With that strike, Ramirez out in front now 0-2. Catcher can't control it. The one two on its way. He strikes out Alex Rios in the swing and a miss. He came through on this at bat. Take a look at the pitching sequence he used. John, that's a great out right there, leaving that runner at third base. Well, anytime you have a runner on third base, some of your attention has to swung on and hit this one towards Cameron. And there's the third out. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. 
And if you've just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Two low on that one for a ball, 1-0. Gary, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've gotten a few hits, but he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. He watches the 1-1 one -one pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. That's a good fastball right there. He blew that one right by him. It's hit foul by Ellsbury. Swung on, that is hit. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now. Here. And here's Dustin Pedroia. Had a base hit his last time up. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Here's Washburn, 1 0 pitch. Runs that one too far inside, goes to 2 and 0. Here's the delivery. Strike he looks at that fastball. Called strike. Two and one. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And that sets down Pedroia. And in the grounder's box at Euclid. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. The first pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And he'll head back to the dugout knowing three outs and he's got himself a shutout. He's got Leading it off, Joe Creedy. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Number 29. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly a solid defensive. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And Creedy retired. Chicago White Sox. Designated hitter. Number and Jim Tomey. Base is empty with one away. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Now nobody on base right now with one out. And that's what you need. You need outs. And maybe a break from base runners for a little bit. Here. Swing, hot shot. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Well, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. First pitch on the way to Damon. Not in front on that one. Strike one. Well, good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front foot. And Johnny Damon watches that one go by. The count is even. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. Swing and a miss. Damon not making contact to even it up. The pitch. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. K Cam's going to give us a good look at the cutter. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swing and a miss on the cutter, 0-1. Well, he threw him the cutter right there, and it looked like he was trying to chase that one. Be patient, young man. It'll get there. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Now, with that two-run homer, they extend that lead to seven. And it's Paul Canerco now. Two outs, space is empty. Number 14, Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Hit hard to second. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Now a chance to see the league leaders in slugging percentage, courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. 
First pitch to Quinton. Right Cut on and missed on one. Over nine career at bats, he's had one hit off Ramirez. Right that him. one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Now swing and a shot toward second. Throws the first side is retired. Well, they had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Fastball misses away. 1 0. Well, he's dazzled them out on the mound here in this one. He shut them down, Great keeping them off the board. Only three runners left on base, and they really haven't even challenged the defense. Washburn set and delivers. Ball, two. Little too much action there, and it's two and one. Now the two one pitch two. lays off that time, but it's in there, and knee high strike evens things at two. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that'll retire Martinez. We've got Mike Cameron in the box. 0 for 3 to this point. Cameron gets set. Here's the first pitch. Takes a call at strike one. Well, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. And it's caught by Ramirez. Here's Adrian Beltre with two down. Grounded out last time. First pitch and he misses the fastball. Strike one. No balls. One strike. Washburn. And a fly ball could be the last out. Steve, that was one of the most outstanding pitching performances that we've seen in recent memory. With that final out, he's got a shutout. Well, he didn't miss a spot the entire game. He had great defensive play behind him, a great all-around team effort. And on that play, it comes to an end. And Steve, we get to witness one of those rare events, a shutout. He was in absolute command right from the start. Gary, game like this doesn't come about without some solid defensive play. And he had that behind him. And congratulations on the goose egg. Well, they win a great one here today, Gary, and it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory. Chance now to present our Pepsi Clutch performer. Great mound work, Jared Washburn. Well, you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches well, changing speeds, but the thing you noticed, he didn't throw any pitches over the center of the plate. That's what made it so special. And when he needed it, he could get back and reach back and get that little bit extra when he needed that big out. Made it look easy out there today, Gary. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crock and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.